aside from choosing the right parents, what can mm -hmm. somebody do to prevent Alzheimer's or right. try to yeah. help prevent Alzheimer's? So, so the four big categories are diet, exercise, sleep, and stress reduction. And I, I wrote about this in detail in my last book, Super Genes. There's about six chapters of details, more than you want to know, about how to adapt your diet to minimize inflammation and plaques, meaning Mediterranean diet, probiotics, take care of your gut bacteria. Which probiotics? Uh, yogurt. Uh, a yogurt drink like kefir, or a probiotic uh, pill with live bacteria in it. But there are so many different ones. There, yes. There's a million different types. It's like saying take antibiotics. Well, which ones? Yeah. So that this do we is know a, yet? We don't. It's know a yet. hot area right now. There are companies that are looking at what are the best bacteria to put in a probiotic. And wh why would that affect? Why why would what's going on in your gut affect what's going on in your brain? So it turns out there's what's called a gut-brain axis, right. where the bacteria in your gut are creating ke chemicals that interact with your brain that do everything from determine your mood to control how much inflammation there is in your brain. And even obesity, right? It's amazing what we're learning yes. about these trillions of bacteria that, that people were saying, oh, wash them out, right? I'm gonna right. get a cleanse. Yeah, they can't, they're right icky. Idea. Let's get them out of us. It turns out, of course, millions yeah. of years of evolution, they're there for a reason. You don't just wash them out. And, and you, want, you want to take care of them. They're there to help you. So. Uh, a Mediterranean diet, more fiber, more fruit, what are called prebiotics. Mm -hmm. Probiotics meaning um, if you don't know exactly what probiotic pill to take, at least live culture yogurt. Mm -hmm. I drink kefir uh, every morning. So not that's, Sutherland. You mean? Yeah, no, kefir, not Sutherland. Kefir the, Although he's a great actor. And I, yeah. <laughs> um, and, and, and then after diet, exercise. You know, and very simply, at least an hour long brisk walk or try to get eight to 10,000 steps if you're using a, a device. Uh, and sleep. Eight hours, seven to eight. After 40 years old, you have to get seven to eight hours of sleep and try your best to do it because as you cycle in and out of REM sleep, this is when you clean amyloid plaque out of your brain. That was one of the most amazing discoveries when I first read about that. You're actually garbage collecting mm -hmm. at night. When you're asleep, the toxins get carried out of your brain. The brain, first of all, the cells that can cause inflammation when they're behaving are clearing the plaque. So you want to keep these certain cells in the brain clearing the plaque away and not causing inflammation. Um, during the deep sleep, those cells eat all the plaque, and then the brain literally physically constricts itself and releases the plaque debris, the proteins from the plaque, into the uh, spinal fluid and out of the brain to wash away. It's actually a f you can actually see the brain physically constricting after the material has been broken down by the resident cells. And this only happens during delta, slow wave, the deepest sleep that comes in after REM. So you want to be able to cycle in and out of REM several times per night. So it's kind of like a dishwasher on multiple cycles. You want to mm -hmm. go in and out to clean the brain as much as you can every night with sleep. So it's coming down to what our parents told us, right? Get, get, eat your fruit and vegetables, get a lot of exercise, get plenty of sleep. Right. And then the last thing you said was stress reduction. Right. Tell managing, me about that. Managing stress. It turns out that um, we, we just published a study on meditation. We did a trial on how does meditation affect your gene activity, your gene expression, as we call it. We did it with folks at Mount Sinai in New York. And what we found is that with a meditation practice, um, that there are changes in your gene expression that work against inflammation and that actually uh, create a, more, a healthier state. Um, we also see changes in genes that affect the amount of amyloid in your brain during a full one-week uh, intensive meditation course. So we have meditation instructors, we have novice meditators who are learning, and our control group were people at the same resort who were just hanging out having fun but not learning how to meditate. And there were significant differences in terms of very beneficial gene expression changes in those who are meditating. One of the biggest fears my patients have is that they might be developing dementia. So how do you distinguish between a senior moment and dementia? I mean, people would kind of flippantly say, you know, if you can't find your car keys, that's one thing. If you find them and don't know what they do, that's another thing. But mm -hmm. I always found that a very flip answer. What do you really say to a patient in that situation? Look, the fact is, as we get older, um, we don't recall names as well. We can see the face of an actor we know, but can't recall the name as fast. Uh, there are changes that happen in the brain um, just like there are changes in our muscles, you know, we, our, our, our joints get weaker, our muscles get a bit weaker. So that's why it's so important to work out physically and mentally. You know, stay, 
stay engaged learning new things. Crossword puzzles, learning new language. Crossword, I'd like to say w. if crossword puzzles help you, if it's a New York Times, it would help you between Friday and Sunday because you probably have to look something up and learn something new. Mm -hmm. But it's really learning new things. Mm -hmm. When you learn something new, you make new synapses, connections between nerve cells. And all learning is based on what you already knew. You always learn by association what you already knew. So you only, not only do you make new synapses, but you strengthen the ones you already have. 